Hey everybody, my name is Mark Pena. I'm a meteorologist in Washington, D.C., tracking the cherry blossoms for you, and we've reached stage five. Now, I was off on vacation last week, and we flew through two stages. That was stage three, which is the extension of Florence, as well as stage four, which was peduncle elongation. So here we are, Sunday, March 23rd, and we have reached stage five, which is puffy white, which means the only thing that's left now is peak bloom. So it's likely to happen now in the next couple of days. So what I'll talk about in the next couple of minutes is how the weather will play a factor in that, and how it's played a factor into where we are now and so that way if maybe you're coming here you'll know what to expect for your visit. So what's interesting is that we started stage one back on March 11th and then we went almost a whole week March 16th before we reached stage two and you'll probably wonder what was going on weather wise here in DC around that time frame. It was likely the temperatures. Uh, notice right here, this is the month of March so far here in DC, our high temperatures. And 73 degrees was the high on March 11th when we hit stage one. And then notice what happened a couple of days after that. We had a couple of cool afternoons and that's almost ideal conditions for the cherry blossoms. And those ideal conditions are cool afternoons, uh, dry conditions, as well as cold nights, but above freezing. And that uh, Thursday, Friday time frame where we had temperatures in the 50s during the day, our overnight lows were in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And think about whenever you go to a florist and you want to buy some flowers, they'll go into some refrigerators where they store everything. That's what Mother Nature was giving us for free. And so that kind of put the stages on hold. But then once we hit March 16th, that's when we hit stage two. And then notice the string of warmer than average days that we saw last week. That's what kind of sped things up. That we went from stage two, three, four, and now five, all within a matter of one week. Whereas we went from stage one to stage two in six days. So we hit stage five today with a high of 60 degrees earlier this afternoon. And so look what happens tomorrow on Monday. We have a high, a forecast high of 68 degrees. That's almost 10 degrees warmer than we saw today. So I wouldn't be surprised if we hit peak bloom a little early than we anticipated, but only because of how warm the temperatures will be on Monday. All right, so that's it. All we have to do now is wait for peak bloom, which will again likely happen now in the next day or so. But keep in mind, the National Park Service official forecast peak bloom is this Friday, and they made that prediction weeks ago. So they're actually pretty good at knowing their stuff and how the weather plays a factor and how the cherry blossoms react to everything. All right, and then one more fun fact for you. If you're in town visiting for the first time, specifically for the cherry blossoms, first off, welcome. It's a beautiful time of year here. There's so much to do and see and eat. It's gorgeous and you're coming at the right time. But also you're probably gonna wanna check out the Tidal Basin, which I 100% agree with. That's where you're gonna get the water and the monuments and of course the cherry trees. But also be aware that there's cherry trees planted all throughout Washington. All eight wards have cherry trees planted. So if maybe the tidal basin is a little crowded or you don't want to deal with all the traffic, maybe find a neighborhood and park or even metro there and just know that you'll likely come across some cherry trees there as well as all the other trees and flowers that are blooming this time of year that will make your trip 100% worth it.